Hello friends, my name is Masood. Today we shall discuss about topic the perform quality assurance. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam or PMP in near future. So let's start. First of all, I request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, perform quality assurance is basically a process defined in PMBOK guide project management body of knowledge this is the basically a uh, part of the uh, project quality management knowledge area and perform quality assurance means that it basically ensures that the project deliverables meet the specific quality standards that the project management processes are effective and efficient let me ask you one question here friend that if you went out for shopping and you want to purchase clothes you are purchasing clothes from uh, different shops so what is the main thing which you will think about which you will consider when you are purchasing any stuff or goods from any shop it is the quality it is the quality which you will look into it that its stuff should be good uh, the quality of a product should be good so that is the main thing so similarly when we talk about perform quality assurance basically this process ensure that the standards or the requirement of the customer or the quality standards should be followed throughout the execution of a project and the project deliverable should meet the specific quality standards this uh, uh, process of quality assurance is very very important in an organization because for example if you are you are a product owner you are the owner of the organization and you want that your product should be successful in your market in the market so definitely definitely you should have a very efficient division of a quality assurance so that they will the ensure that whatever the quality standards were decided and agreed with the customer it should be met in the product uh, deliverables as well so first part is the establishing the quality standards establishing quality standards means friend that basically uh, in this uh, we basically determine the acceptable levels of quality for each aspect of the project including processes products outcome in this way basically we must have to ensure that before starting the project before starting the uh, product the quality standards should be properly defined and agreed then uh, we have to develop the quality management plan in the quality management plan we outline that the what are the roles and responsibilities what are the quality control measures and the tools and techniques to be used for the quality management next is the uh, defined processes and procedures in this basically way we clearly define the processes and procedures that will be followed to achieve the desired level of quality this includes documenting standards guidelines best practices that team members should adhere to during the project next is the quality audits quality audits means that uh, it could be the internal audit or external audit in which basically the other divisions uh, came in and they basically check that whether we are following the quality audits or not quality standards or not uh, the defined processes and standards are following or not so basically it's you can think of this as a, a third party audit uh, generally uh, outsider you can say outsider means the external teams or it could be internal teams as well which basically identify which basically checks the product and uh, for the processes and standards and if there are any areas of improvement needed so they will mention it then monitor and control basically in this we check the pro project uh, we check the product whether it ensures the the whether it's following the compliance and established quality standards or not and implement control measures to address any deviations from the planned quality process if there are any deviations so there should be some corrective actions needed so that it will came back on the uh, track as well implement continuous improvement means foster a culture of continuous improvement by collecting and analyzing data on project performance use lesson learned from previous projects to in 
enhance processes and prevent the recurrence of issues here friend uh, we know we should know that the continuous improvement is very very important here like uh, it is not the case that you have done only one time uh, the quality assurance and uh, on the next time it is not required it is a continuous or it is a continuous improvement process then verify and validate deliverables verify means that the project deliverer meet the specific quality standards through inspections reviews and testing validation ensure that the deliverables meet the customer requirements and expectations okay so this is basically uh, the main difference between verify and validate then document the results that means the whatever the results you get after the checking and monitoring and controlling and if there are any issues or non compliance identified the we must have to take the corrective actions and uh, uh, also lesson learned as well this documentation provides a basis for future projects and helps in demonstrating compliance with quality standards then training and development uh provide proper appropriate training to project team members to enhance their skills and knowledge related to quality assurance ensure that the team is aware of the quality standards and procedure, uh, procedures to be followed obviously friend if your team is uh, trained they know about the things they are well trained obviously they will add value in the quality assurance process and if the product follows followed the quality standards it will produce a good product and it will uh, having a good name in the market as well and it obviously it will beneficial for the organization as well customer feedback is very important here because uh, gather feedback from customer stakeholders to assess their satisfaction with the project deliverables use this feedback to make necessary adjustments and improvements in the product whenever it is possible whenever it is uh, required then closure and evaluation conduct a final evaluation of the project quality performance during the project closure phase identify areas of success and areas that need improvement for future projects so this is very important that whatever the mistakes we have done in the current project it should not be followed in the next phase and next uh, and future projects and uh, continuous improvement is very necessary whatever you have learned from this project it should be uh, followed in the it should have to be improved in the next project so basically friend by systematically implementing uh, these steps project managers can establish a robust quality assurance process that contributes to the successful delivery of high quality project outcome so friend thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching